Do you want to finally start using Notion? You've come to the right place. In this video, I will share with you first, how to get started with Notion without feeling overwhelmed. Second, one big trap you need to avoid while using Notion. And third, how you can make Notion a success for you. Are you ready? Let's dive right in. When I first started using Notion, everything was a big mess. Nothing really fit together. I kept trying to build a perfect life OS, but every other day I just, you know, started from scratch because I didn't seem to get anywhere. It wasn't until I stopped trying to use it for everything and started to use it only to track my newsletters that something clicked. The lesson? Don't try to do everything. Don't try to go from zero to hundred with your Notion. Start small. Take one contained setup, one very specific use case that we would like to use it for, and then, well, start using it. If you're using Notion for yourself, that could mean creating a specific page for one of your hobbies or creating a page and writing down the answers to all the questions that people ask you over and over again, so you don't have to answer them over and over again. And if you're a company, it could be as simple as documenting one process, or building out a dashboard for one specific workflow in one specific team. Notion can be super overwhelming because the possibilities are literally endless. Don't let yourself be paralyzed by all these options. Limit yourself to one use case, build something around that, get used to using it, and then start doing other things. Here are a few ideas. Like reading? Organize your books. Trying to stay healthy? Track your workouts. Love to cook? Create a meal planner and track your recipes. Or for a company, an onboarding page for your new hires that answers all of their questions. Or the other way around, a frequently asked question page for your team members. Don't start with a life OS or company OS. Start small and get the ball rolling. Now the big mistake has something to do with one of Notion's most beloved features, Notion templates. Notion templates are amazing, but only if you use them in the right way and most people use them wrong. Yeah, sure, it's great that you can just click somewhere and get someone else's setup, but it's easy to start procrastinating by just downloading template after template after template, always looking whether there's you know something else that might be a bit better and never start to actually use them. So here's the big mistake, getting distracted. Whenever you download a template, try to be very clear about what it is that you're trying to get from it. Use it, try to understand it, and then integrate the parts that are helpful to you into your setup. And getting distracted has a second component. You should give Notion an actual chance. Yes, Notion might not be the perfect tool for you, and that's okay. So if you decide that that's the case, then move on and don't look back. But if you think that Notion could be the tool for you, then give it a real chance and use it for at least three months. Build that one use case that I mentioned. Use it daily, because tool switching has a huge tax associated with it. You need to learn a new UI, you need to move all your data from one tool to another tool, and you need to learn again a completely new way of thinking about things. So instead of, you know, jumping from one tool today and to another tomorrow, give Notion a real chance and try it out to see whether it actually works for you. Last but not least, the most important point, find your why. Why do you want to use Notion? What is your main motivation? Do you want to learn a new and valuable skill? Do you want to help your team collaborate better? Or do you want to design a beautiful and aesthetic workspace for you? The more precise you can be, the better. Where exactly is your motivation coming from? And since it's Notion, you can have that motivation front and center. Why not put it into a sync block at the top of your page and paste it everywhere as a reminder of why you're doing this in the first place? For me personally, it was this. I have a ton of fun exploring a new tool and trying to push it to the limit. So. That's what I did after a while. Rather than trying to pursue, you know, my perfect life OS, I binge watched tons of tutorials and simply tried to build cool stuff in Notion. I mean, no one really needs Notion to be an AI image generator for cute cats, right? But that's what I built. I still don't have a life OS, but I have a lot of fun things that I tried to build in Notion. And that kept me going. So what's your why? Let me know down below in the comments and maybe help inspire others who are currently watching this video. And now, if you're finally ready to master Notion, but have no idea where to start, I've got you covered. Here are 99 Notion tips that will help you master everything, from creating beautiful pages to building really, really advanced use cases. Just click here, and I will see you in a second.